let's continue our okay so do you actually i've already done i've already tr it seems that from have you already caught i'm guess in any case no way do you mean it'd be no it's not that doing that would be ignoring the safety of my people for my own selfish goals that's a good point spoken like the god of Tamara. We're in the dark as of now. After all... Hmm... Nahida, here's to- According to a popular theory from the Bahumana Darshan of the Agad- Okay, okay! But aren't you the god of wisdom? You don't have to- Well... I've been thinking that if I can't directly possess the leaders, then I should find someone who's already involved, but hasn't decided to side with the sages. You're saying we should recruit a spy? Hmm... That does sound like it could work. Oh, before coming back, we met someone named Al Haytham. He seems like he acts alone. I Actually, I already have someone in mind. Centaria. We ran into her base. Paimon still remembers the... Mm -hmm. She was born in the desert and was... Oh, Paimon? The name Centaria later on. Soon after, the star began to... But in the end, she couldn't give up the radiance of daytime. To cope with her shame, the star buried her guilt and cope from the sound of it, but she doesn't... Indeed, she's suppressing a lot of guilt, but before she realized it, she had already become the sage's accomplice. Right. In that way, not from my past observations, Sataria will take a day off from the academia every ten days to do some shopping in the city. Tomorrow afternoon, just to prepare. Thank you for This should be Sataria's favorite fortune telling. I so, no, I already have enough information on Sataria. The most important thing now. Hacking style and... My poor lost lambs. Have you become troubled over the divine voice of wisdom? Huh? Really? Shh! <clears throat> hmm. Uh -huh. it... Hmm. Only mocking the god of Animo, questioning the lord of Geo's financial savviness, and brawling with the god of Electro. Do those... Hmm? Oh, nothing. Go on, pick an aspect for her to divine. Love prospects? <laughs> no problem at all. Oh. <laughs> the one who is fated to cross your path will appear on... Harut! Marut! Did you two spoil my divination? Uh, actually, Paimon... <clears throat> I admit that the... Is that so? If you were to bring some food offerings for Harut and Marut on your next visit, perhaps they... Is this another one of Sata... Yep. It belongs to a king. It, when I start talking with him... Ah, dear customers. Would you like to look at some... We caught wind if you... Oh. I recognize. Speaking of... I suppose you could... After that, I begin... That's nice. Hmm. Oh, no, not a... I see. I'll have someone in charge... No problem. Boring! This should be our final stop. Sit... Nahida! <laughs> it's my duty to protect Samir... Hi there. I feel like I've seen you down by the docks before. Huh? So, if I recall, you were ah, uh, 
That's right. After all, I grew up. But what an admirable. Uh, so this restaurant. That's right. I see. <laughs> Thank you so. So. Mm hmm. I. Uh, Sitarius, I remember that you. Although it's all just a boatload of nonsense, the thing. Oh! Although she knows she should return home to help... Hmm. Well, the Scarlet King is long gone. And Sitaria is also too... If we simply... But... So... Yep. As long as... Ah, exactly. Huh? That's no... Huh. Although I've been observing humans for a while, I've... Hmm. You're not wrong. It's always been painful, yeah? Uh, yeah. Don't be... All right. Take it easy. Oh, here she comes. Sit down. Let's quietly ask for how we'll sway her to our side. I'll leave that to you. Uh, looks like they've already started talking. Let's find. That's right. You really can't force anything when it comes to love. And besides, everyone around me is... Uh, oh! Uh, of course I'm listening. Uh, okay. <laughs> Strange. I always thought they were quiet, happy kitties. Oh, what are their names again? Uh, that's right. They are just little darlings, aren't they? Harut and Marut. Ahem. <clears throat> so... Hmm... I'd like to get another reading on my love prospects, but to be perfectly honest with you... A mess? Well, um... Could you do a reading on how long it'll take me to finish my current project at work? I hear you. No problem at all. Uh, um... The gods are asking Sitaria. Why haven't you gone home? Why haven't I gone... home? Sitaria, why don't you just go home? It's a demand now instead of a question. Uh, uh, I'm sorry. I know I failed the god. And if I may ask, Nabia, is there a specific god who's speaking to you right now? What an inconsiderate and naive question. The god who is speaking to me is, of course, the wisest and mightiest of all. The S Scarlet King? No wonder he would make such a demand of me. Huh. Even though news of the Scarlet King's resurrection has been spreading like wildfire, it's all just a misinformation campaign from the Academia. How can- What insolence! I am the Scarlet King's most loyal believer. Oh, no, no. As a child of the desert, I am only reveling in his power upon learning that his divine glory has touched even this city. <sighs> I will think very carefully about his demand of me. I'm sorry. I must go now. Uh, wait! Well done. Sitaria didn't seem to suspect anything amiss. To have something she's been trying desperately to avoid show up out of nowhere and berate her? That must have shaken her to the core. Aw, 
Mihira. All I know are some abstract harp. Anyway, enough of that. Got a game now. Right on cue. Let's get ready to possess him right away. It's okay. I just got caught up in something. Oh, actually, didn't you ask me to help you look for work? What kind of work were you looking for again? Oh, right. Your old man's craft. How could I forget? Speaking of, how's he doing? Is he feeling any better? Huh? Wasn't he nursing a leg injury? Uh, he sprained his arm a while back while trying to show off actually while we're talking about him is he still living in port ormos yeah he's been retired if you could find the time please write him a letter please pass on that recently faith in the scarlet king has taken root he has a quick temper and has always been a devout follower of the de oh so who are you siding with in all of this the uh, uh <sighs> i'm so jealous of you you were born a child of the desert Yet you chose to betray the Scarlet King, and now- Akeem! You don't mean... you've also become a believer of the Scarlet King? What's so strange about becoming a believer of the wise Scarlet King? In fact, aren't you the strange one? The one who still can't pick- C can't pick a side? Me? Whoa! I had no idea you'd be so good at this! You really zeroed in on the issue and put it right in front of her. But once everything is over, I'll be sure to pay- So, she sh- Like, as if someone was trying to preach to you about something? Wait, did you just say attic? I thought this place didn't have an attic. Uh, well, the restaurant recently added an attic. <laughs> I've been studying there because it ha- Oh, right. Speaking of strange things, I celebrated the Subzerus Festival so many times that I lost count. Wait, how could you be aware of that? That should be impossible. Nothing in the report indicated anything like that. Are you still failing to realize that the Academia's lowly tricks could never deceive all of Sumer- uh, uh, Jishan, don't tell me that you've converted to the Scarlet King as well! What an absurd question. You make it sound like I should be ashamed for becoming a believer of the Scarlet King. In reality, shouldn't you be the one who is ashamed? You, who worked side by side with the Academia, and treated people as nothing more than ex- Please, please stop! Even now, Satari is still trying to run from her problem. She can no longer justify everything to herself. Hey, she's trying to talk to the guards! This is the most important part of- Mercenary, you're a member of the Corps of Thirty, correct? Please help me pass a message to- Please, try to remain calm, miss. Tell me what's happening. Heretics are infiltrating the city, and they've already converted many residents to their s Heretics? What kind of heresy are you talking about? The Scarlet King! Many people I know have suddenly started believing in him, but he's long dead. It's impossible. Miss Sataria, nothing is impossible. Y you know my name? The Scarlet King is immortal, and all who defy him will one day pay the price. You must face the truth, Sataria. You tread a treacherous path, and the longer you ignore it, the tighter the Academia's grasp on you will become, and the deeper you will be ensnared. Child of the Scarlet King, never forget that the desert that belongs to you lies elsewhere. What's so strange about becoming a believer of the wise Scarlet King? In fact, aren't you the strange one? The one who still can't pick a side? What an absurd question. You make it sound like I should be ashamed for becoming a believer of the Scarlet King. Sitaria, why haven't you gone home? Uh, <sighs> I, it's 
seems that no matter where I run, I only keep finding more believers of the Scarlet King. I have to say, this is a familiar f I've also been running from my guilt this whole time. But no matter how much I may try to ignore and get rid of it, my guilt always comes back. You won't necessarily lose your research opportunities by facing the truth. Besides... <sighs> how do you know me so well? Are you truly just a believer of the Scarlet King? Or are you the god himself? That's not important. The important thing is to pass judgment on the Academia and its sages, and to correct their mistakes. If you could provide some assistance in this matter, perhaps it could serve as a form of atonement. I've actually never believed in the gods, but I've always believed in serendipity. Your appearance must be a fated opportunity for me to get... Please tell me, what can I do for you? <clears throat> How much do you... I was just one of the designers for the Mast Dream Harvest Scheme, but I know very little about the full... I've just been working to meet the Grand Sage's specified requirements. However, there's something that's been really bothering me. I heard that a scholar who was previously expelled has returned to the city, and even the sages are still... To fight against the Academia, we will need to figure out the nature and the purpose... It should be possible if we're willing to take some risks. After all, I'm an assistant to the Grand Sage. One thing, though, I won't be able to transfer the documents to you through the... Um, let me see... Uh, let's use the most primitive method. Send someone to pick the Academia entrance. Wouldn't that be too conspicuous? Don't worry about that. I I'm only suggesting this location. All right, I trust. So, uh... Um, that'll depend on the judgment of the Dendro Archon. The Dendro Archon? That's right. Her people are the ones we have endangered. As the God of Wisdom, she's also the one responsible for judge. Maybe it's time for me to find a god to... Just as Nahida predicted, we've managed the Traveler's execution was ingenious. Well, now that we've made plans to meet again tomorrow evening... Pray? But if we're going to pray to the gods, aren't we just praying to you? God of Wisdom and Guardian of the... Me? No, no. The truth is the true guardian of scholars. I've always believed that. Anyway... That's right. I suppose I'm the other Catherine in your mind. Shh. We're on a secret mission. Yep. Paimon's right. We cannot... If something were to happen, my existence may be the only trump card we'll be able to play. After all, the Academia should still be unable to confirm the existence of my consciousness in the outside. Yep, yep. Exactly. Just what Paimon was thinking. <laughs> anyway, enough about that. Let's just make sure it's off. What do you feel is off? It's the middle. No, I think she's right. If you look around, there seems to be fewer people on the streets. I'm not sure if this is the case for the entire city, though. Huh. Maybe it's just a coincidence. Me? I also can't quite figure out why things feel a little off. But, well, regardless, as long as you're... Ah, uh, there really are many people out right now. Let's hope it'll be this quiet in front of the Academia, and that Sitaria managed to distract all the guards. doing here at the 
last hour of the night. Uh. Ah, the triumphant hero returns at last. And to a rather spectacular welcome, even if I do say so myself. You're the outcast, expelled from the academia. Indeed I am. Although these days they tend to call me the doctor. If you're looking for your researcher friend, she has already been taken into confinement. With some basic caution, she could have discovered the listening device on her person. Clearly, she lacks the degree of rigor expected of a true scholar. The people of Samir City! What have you done to them? I simply made some minor adjustments to their Akasha terminals. Now they can deposit information directly into the subconscious. As you can see, all these lovely people now believe this traveler is a hero who has just saved the world. <laughs> My experiment is a success. And now it seems they can no longer hold back their sheer adoration. No, what should we do? These are all just regular people. Leave now. You need to get out of here. But that guy's a Fatui Harbinger! We can't just leave you here! Nor can I abandon the people of Samaru! appear to have overridden their mental faculties with your own consciousness. To possess such a powerful mind, you must be the God of Wisdom. your breath first. Uh, is the Hida going to be okay? We only made it out because of her. Paimon wasn't counting on running into a new harbinger here, let alone such a high-ranking one. That guy was number two. So scary. Mm, he called himself the Doctor. Remember, Tainari told us about him, and that even the sages are wary of him. Yep. So, yeah. Now that the doctor's in the picture, we're no longer just dealing with the academia. They're in cahoots with the Fatui. But what are the Fatui after this time? Another Gnosis? Yeah, things would be... Nahida said, we'll meet again outside of the city. Uh, you mean... Oh, right. Even though he turned it down at the time, there's no time to lose. <laughs> Take it easy. right there a blonde-haired traveler and a floating fairy we've got you all right take a look around <laughs> Are you core of 30 we're nothing like those government lapdogs we are an elite brigade that commands the highest commission rate in all of Sumeru we're here on the orders of a client known only as the outcast the outcast an outcast from the academia? But why wouldn't the doctor just send... Still wasting time. Uh, you're up. Oh, Let's look. Solidify. 
Worthless. Oh, it's the Traveler and Pike Hallway. It's nice. I, to be honest, I'm not doing too well. My Elazar has been progressed as a result. Mask. Hallway. Speaking of Tainari, did he go off on patrol? We're here to talk to him. Oh, Master Tainari. He just left the Avidia Forest a little while ago. He was headed to Party CI. Huh? He left? I thought it was weird, too. Master Tainari always prioritizes it. No, I only found out that he left through a message he left behind. <sighs> hmm. Master Tainari originally studied in the Immorta Dash. I know that before. A research base, huh? Oh, we don't have a lot of time, so let's go look for him at Party CI. Ah, uh, got it. Well... Okay, we were so worried about you. Hey, this was supposed to be a tech. Actually, it's very smart of the traveler to be wary of me right now. After all, plus, it's not like you could have known what happened after we split up, and that even a pool of stagnant water. A hmm. Paimon feels like only the real Nikita could come up with such an obscure analogy. Huh? But. I wasn't trying to win your trust or anything. Well, we understand that point now. Please, Nahida, tell us more about what- When you left, I was still in the middle of restoring everyone's minds. Thankfully, when- the Instead, he did something closer to creating hallucinations. That was still within my- Luckily, I managed to finish my restorations and mind jump away from him. Oh. What a relief. I wouldn't be relieved just... I gave away my true identity when I restored everyone's mind. Also, the doctor is already an expert at modifying Akasha terminals. Would that mean you'd no longer be able to jump between minds? Then... Ugh, it feels like he's... Plus, the doctor's combat ability alone is apparently enough to make him worthy of being number two of the... We shouldn't give up hope just yet. But actually, Nahida... Yes, I have. I can see the Traveler's elemental energy, so I deduced your destination by looking at the direction you were- You didn't come here for sightseeing, right? We're looking for a scholar we know. Okay, let's-
traveler. Ah, the voice! It's Hapasia! Ah, what a pleasant surprise! Who's this? She's a scholar we met in the Avidia Forest. Oh, I see. That's right, we're old friends. Uh, you've come at just the right... Hapasia, you're way too excited about this. Wait, no. Did you already finish? <laughs> what do you... My consciousness has already managed to make con... <gasps> you did it? Congratulations! <laughs> it's so exhilarating when my consciousness made contact with the gods. Uh... That sounds incredible! Oh, all right. Uh, I remember. I promise my current self has not only gained true insight, but I can even help... You... You can do that? I've never heard of anything like that, but if you want to give it a try, I'll... Hold on. I brought some spirit born... Uh, we... All right, now. Hold my hand. I'll help you. Okay. Ready? It took three betrayals for me to finally understand. The world is just an elaborate tapestry of lies. My fury will never be quelled. The first to betray me was a god, my creator, my mother. Valuing strength above all, she saw no worth in me, and I was discarded. The second was a human. My family. My friend. Consumed by fear, he saw me as an abomination. The third was one exactly like me. A hope for the future. A fledgling barely out of the nest. Powerless before his mortality, he broke his promise to me. Humans, they can't be trusted. And the gods fill me with pure loathing. So I said good riddance. <laughs> I denounced the world and laugh in its face. <laughs> My chest will never again be defiled by worldly filth. I will scrub away every last trace of human emotion. Then it will be empty, a blank slate, and ready to receive a supreme gnosis, brimming with pure divinity. <laughs> wasn't a filthy... Do you understand now? I'm afraid this is no peri in a life, but rather... Ah! You! I found divine wisdom. Apeja! That's how I always thought everything... Wait, have I... already lost my mind? Something is...
Oh, the Traveler's back? Nahida was controlling your body for a while. It seemed like she jumped over just after that. Tainari heard the commotion and came over. He helped us defeat the mercenaries and then he ran with us all the way here. What? You swapped... Wait, then where is Nahida's con... <sighs> I never imagined that an individual's consciousness could be transferred around like this. Had I not seen it with my own eyes, I would have never believed... Also, while we were running, the consciousness in your body told me to pass on a mess. The doctor has found a way to trap my consciousness, so I can't journey... But even in a moonless night, a shower of starlight can still drown out in... <gasps> oh no! Was that message all she left for us? It's pretty vague. Oh, that makes... Even in a moonless night, a shower of starlight can still drown out illusion... Huh. Paimon knows the moon illusions and lies are from the alchemical divination at the Subzeru's festival. Didn't Nahida use a starlight analogy before? It had something to do with Sataria. Oh, that makes... A... But she isn't with us anymore. Paimon. That's all right. Uh, I've spent some time with you. Thank you, Tainari. Ah, that. All I know is that that project has something to do with the restoration of Ermansul. Huh? Did you see some... What? Do you have any evidence? Hmm. Hmm. So... Tainari? I did. I noticed if I didn't take action. Now that you mention it, but I still didn't expect... The doctor and the... Paladir. From your description, I don't think they've completed their project. There may still be room for us to intervene, but then... Yeah, it feels like we're still nowhere close to figuring out the Sage's goals. Right. I'll stay here for now. If you're planning to go into the... Come find me here if there's... Thanks, Tainari. Hopefully... To Caravan Reebok. It's pretty lively here. So, just past this wall is the desert, huh? Oh, wow. Paimon remembers hearing people call this the Wall of Samiel. It's made to block sandstorms from the outside. Oh, if it's this... Enough gawking. Come on, follow me. Huh? Over here. Oh, he's come with that way! Let's hurry up and follow him. Wonder what he's up to. What the? Where did she go? Uh, how did we lose them? More Aramite mercenaries? Oh, 
only the you were too careless. You should have noticed those hopeless amateurs. There's no need to thank me. I've never cared to keep track of person. All I did was correct a mistake I happened to come across. You really gave Paimon a scare, I'll hate them. You know, last time we met at Port Ormos, didn't you say you were going back to the Academia? Oh, so you've already landed yourselves on the Academia, however. Oh, right. Um, you... I have no interest in... <sighs> and these days, you're more fascinating than anything the sages can... Hmm, not quite. To tell you the truth, I'm still investigating. Everyone says the capsule, which brings me back to you. The leader of Ainul Ahmar used the divine knowledge capsule right in front of you. And upon seeing him, your expression became perplexed, and you were lost in thought for... To have that kind of reaction, I think you must have realized something. Are you interested? Oh, hey, Thum. You really have a ridiculous eye for detail. So that's your answer. Hmm. <laughs> But that does prove you do have some undisclosed... <sighs> no matter. That's right! We have the same... Then I'd suggest starting with Aru Village. It's always better to... <laughs> Before us... Whoa! This landscape! Unless my memory fails me, we have barely spoken to- Oh, Haytham. Do not think you can escape my judgment. <laughs> judgment? So that's how you'd characterize your actions here, is it? Or would elimination perhaps- Had I used my full strength, not even this traveler would have been able to stop me. Though styled like an assassination, I sought only to ensure that my target would be unable to flee or resist. Seemed to me more like your own purse. Uh, who, who? Yes. General Mahamatra Sino. Head of- You seem to have placed a lot of trust in all Haytham. If I were you, I'd never choose to side with him. I wouldn't believe a si- I have been pursuing this scribe for a long time. I has all Haytham done something wrong? I won't waste my breath explaining things. I'll take it out. The divine knowledge capsule you're hiding on your person. Unless you want me to retreat. Hmm. Very perceptive of you. Nothing escapes a mantra. Wait, the divine knowledge capsule? Didn't it fall into the mantra's hands in Port Ormos? No wonder you speak with such confidence, Sino. But I must admit, I'm very curious. And why, as General Mahamatra, as far as I'm aware, the other mantra have been speculating about you. Have you been given a mission that's... If I was the real target of your mission, what was stopping you from simply using your authority? <coughs> I should have known you'd be difficult. You two! Ugh. What? <clears throat> well, look at you two, acting all tough and self-righteous over there. Wait, do you? Gotta help us out here, otherwise these two are- Yeah, sure looks that way. Two giants from the academia duking it out once and- Listen, I know you academic types love to fill up your big brains with self-righteous morality and lord your empty rules, and but how dare you bring your petty disputes and- It seems like someone's gonna have to beat some- <sighs> Hey, did either of you- 
Sandstorm? What's up with these recently? Hey! All of you, over here, quickly! Someone's calling for us! That sounded like Candace. Uh, come on, you two! All right. Wanna play sardines with three people who wanna tear each other limb from limb? Uh, the air is so thick and heavy. Paimon can hardly keep floating anymore. My sincere apologies, everyone. This is the home of our village chief. I will have to ask you to make do with this small room until the sandstorm dies. Please, let me introduce myself. Ah, our savior. Nice to meet you, Candace. The name's... <laughs> There's no need to thank me. It's only right to help each other when the weather gets rough. Wow. She's so gentle and caring. Like a nice older sister. All right. Now, though, as a guardian charged with the responsibility to protect my fellow... And now that you have set foot within our village itself, it is all the more my responsibility. So please, if anyone dares to start anything again while they are under this roof, I will not hesitate to send them out for some quality. Oh! And that goes for you, too, Miss D. Do I make my... <sighs> All right. <laughs> I was supposed to be a mediator, but uh, I might have gotten a little too involved just now. Wait! <sighs> I have nothing to hide. So there's no shame in expl... All Haytham wasn't wrong about the other Matra not knowing my whereabouts. It's not because I've been assigned... Rather... Huh? A little while ago... I discovered that there was data missing in the Academia's project. As General Ma I tried to investigate the issue myself before submitting a formal audit request. But I, I began to realize that, unsurprisingly, the Grand Sage rejected my audit. The power of the Gen- hmm. I realized then the vows that we took, the principles that we strive to uphold, they are meaningless to the Academia of today. I believed it would be wise to flee the Academia before the Sages had a chance. I will never give up on this investigate. Sino seems to have the same quest now that he's no longer the General Maha- Well, Sino, if that's your story, then... When I was investigating the matter in the Academia, I overheard a conversation between all Haytham and a Sage. The Sages asked you to investigate a blonde-haired traveler. Do you dispute this, I'll hate them? Uh, what? Like many parts of the project, this assignment was undocumented. Now throw in your suspicious behavior with the Divine Knowledge Capsule, and I think we deserve an explanation. Hmm. Yes. I was indeed tasked with investigating the Traveler. I'll hate them! After all... The promised reward was so great that hardly any scholar could have refused. The sage told me, Once you've completed this assignment, I can give you a glimpse of divine knowledge. A most enticing offer. Unfortunately, those academics don't know me at all. Their words contained one key piece of information. Namely, that divine knowledge indeed exists. That gave me all I needed to know. From my perspective, the sages are far from trustworthy. Think about it. Isn't it a little strange they're so willing to share divine knowledge with anyone, even as a reward? So, I began my own investigation following the lead of the divine knowledge capsule. In the end, I realized my wisdom in committing to this rather than collaborating with the sages. Had I been less guarded, I probably would have ended up like that Ainul Ahmar mercenary. Incapable of remaining sane for long enough to hold a conversation. You mean... That the sages originally planned to dispose of you? Using one of those capsules that drive people insane? I'd already given up on the assignment by then. I only told the Academia I was waiting in Port Ormos for you to appear so they wouldn't suspect anything. So it came as quite a surprise when I encountered my erstwhile target while investigating the Divine Knowledge Capsule. Criminals do love to talk about coincidences. 
Even though I ran into the Traveler by chance, I had no intention of providing assistance to the Academia. Also, you should remember, you were the ones who decided to follow me and strike up a conversation after I left that tavern. That's true. I'll hate them help us out at Caravan Rebot to- I'm willing to apologize, if that's worth anything to you. I took the Divine Knowledge Capsule behind your back because I judged its existence to be a significant risk. I felt that it would be best for no one to interact with it before it had been properly studied. <laughs> After all, curiosity often proves to be the most dangerous thing in this land. You should be well aware, Scribe Alhatham, that curiosity can also lead you to danger and suspicion. Answer me this. Did the sages share any information about their project with you? Have I not made myself clear? You and I are both dis- Fine. Uh, as you wish. Mm hmm Good. I'm glad- And now you, Dia. I believe- Oh, sorry. Whatever the boys were talking about must have- Ahem. <clears throat> My situation is pretty straightforward. My employer, Dunyarzad of the Homiyani family, is friends with the Traveler, and is currently recovering from her ill- I had nothing going on, so I decided to return to Aru Village for a visit. I was act- But then I saw these two random guys in the middle of a pointless argument. You take me up- Is that all? Well, that's more like it. Whoa! What was that sound? No need to worry. Now that you're no- C Creatures? Fighting in a sandstorm is not for- Yeah, just leave them to Candace. <laughs> Don't worry, she's as t The wind's died down. Candace still is- When you put it that way. moment to compose myself. Oh, Candace, you're still fighting? You've been out here- Yes. They just keep- <laughs> <laughs> I'll be sure to put on a good show. <laughs> Let's go! Yahoo! Time for takeoff. Huh? I'm going in! Stabilize! You can get away. Off we go. Let's light it up. The creature stopped appearing. Was that the what we fought just now? Was probably the aftermath of the sandstorm. Well fought, everyone. No injuries, I hope. Huh? Who? Ah, my apologies. I haven't had a chance to greet you yet. I had my hand. I am the chief of Aru Village. Everyone usually got Sir, I am also originally from the desert. I can't say they've always been common, uh, but Reese besides Sandstorm. Hmm. So, Ermansoul's withering causes. Everything in the natural. <sighs> Everyone in Aru Village needs to take. Uh, speaking of which, why have. Village Keeper? Does your curiosity know no bound? Most of them are scholars. The academia believes that their crazed mutterings may have. Allah, but no one. In I've had encounters with the. The much. Mock me if you will. But if you are guilty. Oh, you're the former general Maha. Is it because you're reminded of Hapasia? But, uh. Is it really? I'll be grateful. F I'd start by finding a. Huh. 
although I've sent myself into exile, I'm still doing essentially this. Do you still have any questions for me before we start our investigation? One of my former subordinates, the Academia has long exiled mad scholars to- When mad scholars first arrive, initially, the people of Aru Village greatly resented having to take in the mad scholars. But a strange incident one night changed that. Aru Village was struck suddenly, despite the power after that. The soft green light? Paimon thinks so too! In theory... Oh, no wonder... If you are able to... So, what do you... Really? Hmm. What? No, Lesser Lord could... The Akadee... In addition, I've never heard any story... No way! Nahida definitely... I've spent many... Good! Then you... That look... How can this be to think? All right. Now it's our turn, but easier s Excuse me, are you here- Huh? By the sounds of it, a resident of this village. My name is Isak. Is your grandpa- Hey, don't- <sighs> The person you're referring- Grandpa is- I, I heard everything you- Ah, uh, I was pla- Whoa, I- Sorry, I was only listening in because I- All right. Sino is super... Ah, you're back already. We just wanted to confirm something with you. <laughs> I had a feeling he'd go look... Huh? You knew this would have... Yes. Isak's parents were both Aramite mercenaries who rarely returned to the village. Unfortunately, it was a... Later. And... Uh, however, this one summer night... So Grandpa, the next morning, it said that Isak was... All this summer... Perhaps. It's also... Hmm. Maybe the people... Huh? No, nothing. Perhaps you are... Hey, Isak! Oh, it's you! We've cleared every... Really? Yeah! All right. You mean the village? When I was eating... Uh... Anything... The scholars that have... <gasps> don't change this... Right, but honestly... Do you also... Grandpa... <laughs> it's still... Well, what... Gotcha! Sir? Whoa! The last time I... <gasps> oh. <laughs> yeah. Oh, I've known you since... Wow. Okay. Huh? Don't say any... <sighs> Let's head over there. Listen, see if- Have you heard? The mighty Scarlet King, the sovereign of our fi- Yes, of course I have. The Scarlet King is the one and only- Still. Haven't you noticed? The f Delavar was saying that many people also went insane. Isn't it a sign? Huh. Exactly. Now, repeat everything you've just said from the fi- Huh? <gasps> My patience is running thin. You heard what I asked. This guy's something else. Just look at... Let's not get on it. Oh, okay, good sir. W what is it you would like to know? Tell me about this. Well, I... I... <sighs> hey. It's true. Would you want to live like the... Delavar also said that once the Scarlet King returns to... Is that... Uh, seem... Uh, please. The people here really like the Scarlet King, but dislike the Dendro Arc? Where is this... I haven't run into... Uh, 
No, uh, not at all. Sounds like you're not too... Uh, no, uh, of course... I have many, so you'd best just stay... Don't do anything. Yes, yes, got it. <sighs> that scared Paimon half to death. Sino is pretty terrible. <laughs> he didn't try to reassure us at all. It's like... I heard that. <laughs> It's part of being a mop. The rumor we heard just now. Very well. Isaac! Uh, I'm here. Where's your grandpa's house? Well, I can take it. Grandpa? Oh, he likes to be alone. Uh, sometimes he stares at the sky in a daze, and other times he just pokes at the ground with his fingers. Every now and then, he yells out at the top of his lungs, so a lot of people are really scared of him. But he's a good person, really. I know he is. I swear, he, he's just like my real grandpa. There sure isn't much here. No. Incense? Uh, please, but are you okay? There's a scent that you can sense, but I can't... A certain traveler? So? Huh? You know him too? Yes. Hmm. Wait. No. No need. Did you first encounter this scent in the forest? What are you looking for? Here it is. Take a look right here. Uh... Although the traces have been from the size and shape, they belong. The scent is quite faint, but still extant. But who would come look? We'd have to ask whoever lured him away. Huh? So you can lure. Hey! What's wrong? Exactly. Even deep within the clutch. No, Grandpa. So someone's taking advantage of their. Are the rumors really true? Could the discipline? It's highly. Please, you have to save my Grandpa. Sounds like we'd better. Let's head to our. <laughs> 